In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to deal with artwork which is physically wider than the vinyl that you have loaded into your uh, vinyl cutter or to your plotter. In other words, the artwork can't actually fit along the width of your vinyl uh, that you've got loaded in. Now to show you that, I'll go here to page 2. I'll just import a logo here. Uh, we'll import the Ford logo because it's a good example of what I'm explaining here. And I'll draw that out there and put it in the middle. Now we can see here it's roughly oh, close enough to 34 inches wide. Now if I've got a 24 inch wide vinyl cutter, I can't physically cut this out along its width because I don't have enough room. I don't have, uh, I would need a, um, a 36 inch wide vinyl cutter to do that, but I've only got 24 inch wide vinyl in a 24 inch wide vinyl cutter. So the solution to, uh, to doing that you can do in the cut file manager, but before I'll just quickly combine that to one curve. And I'll show you how to send this to the cut file manager. You click on this button up here, send a cut file, I click on that, and you'll see it's automatically loaded in the cut file manager. And I'll just reposition it to fit within our recording size. You can clearly see the whole module. So what we have here is we have our Ford logo, and you can see the program's automatically rotated this for us 90 degrees, rotate 90. It's done that because the program's detected that this particular artwork doesn't fit along our width here. And I can rotate that off to show you. You can't physically fit this in. As you can see here, we have a 24 inch wide vinyl cutter, 24 inch wide uh, vinyl in it, and our cuttable width is 23 inches. Now our cuttable width is 23 inches because most vinyl plotters have a pinch roller on each side of around half an inch wide. So if you take that half inch wide where you can't cut on each side, that's one inch. Therefore, 23 inches is the cuttable width of this particular machine. It's what it can physically cut. That's what we're interested in. So that's what it's set to. So here you can see that being nearly 34 inches wide, this Ford logo simply doesn't fit within the width of this vinyl. Now to overcome that problem, we click or check this thing here, Tile to Media, and we call the media a tile because you might be working with paper or vinyl or something else, so to, to, to sort of a generic name is tile, so it's the tile width. I deal with this in other lessons, uh, the previous lesson of this one deals with that issue, explains to you all that terminology. It's also in the manual all that terminology, it's fairly easy to follow once you know. Okay, so if we check tile to media here, you can see what's happened. We end up with tile 1 and tile 2, as you can see. So that's the first one, and here's the second one like that. And Clearly, the program's automatically set that out to physically cut. But quite often what happens is that on, a, on site, uh, vinyl tends to shrink and you want to overlap it and because uh, you don't want a white line uh, being, or being created over time as the vinyl shrinks down, so you need an overlap. Now, usually a um, quarter of an inch, three-eighths, half an inch, you know, uh, six mil, ten mil, twelve mil is usually roughly enough to overlap it. So you can set that using the, um, the tools in this, uh, on this side here under the Arrange Cut File tab. So if I click on that, we'll come down and we'll see Tile Bleed here. Okay, and it's currently set to 0 0.394 of an inch. Now, you know, um, 3 8 of an inch, 0.375 is usually a fairly good size to work with, or, and which is equal to 10 millimetres, um, or very close to it. And that's usually a, a good overlap size to work with. And I'll zoom in to show you that. Now we can see that this is, we've got this 3 eighths of an inch uh, overlap here. Now I'll explain to you what these dotted lines mean. If I just uh, zoom to the right a little bit here, all the way over, we can see this edge here, that's the right edge of the um, vinyl coming out for tile 1. And if I come roughly to the centre, this blue dotted line, that's the left edge of tile 1. If I come all the way over to the left here, I have the left edge of tile 2, which is the blue dotted line, Come back to the centre, the grey dotted line is the right edge of the second tile, of this tile here, number two. So by having this tile finishing on this side and this tile finishing on this side, we end up with this overlap here, which I've set here to 0.375 of an inch. Now if I zoom out and I make that say something large like two inches, you can see that the right edge here has come right over the two inches past the left edge of this tile. Okay, so we've got this tile here and it's it's finishing on the left edge here and there's its right edge and we've got this tile here which finishes on this right edge here which is this dotted line and it starts on this left dotted line. So we've got this two inch overlap here. So if I zoom right in like this 
we can see up here that's exactly a two inch overlap. Now clearly a two inch overlap is, is far too much, it's unnecessary. So I'll set that back to a standard type overlap of say uh, uh, three, uh, three eighths of an inch. And we can see here that it's, it's reset it to that size there. But you can set that to any size you like. Now the other thing, if I click on this you'll see it shows it to you in wireframe. The program automatically uh, blocks the cut file to the bottom right hand corner as you can see here. So there's the bottom edge, the right edge and it just blocks it in like that. And this is now ready to cut. We have it positioned where we want it and we can now cut this out. And of, but of course we can move it around. I mean we're not uh, compelled to cut it there. That's entirely up to us. But for the sake of this lesson I just want to show you what you do next. Once you're satisfied with your position and your overlap you come down here and you click cut all and that cuts both tiles and we can see that uh, we've got the tile one here as you can see there and we have tile two or sorry this is tile one and this is tile two and if you look here in this spot here where the uh, F comes around and then you compare it to this F here you can see there's an overlap which is our three eighths of an inch overlap so that's how we set a tile overlap for an over wide piece of artwork in just a very quick easy way of doing it I'll just cancel that what I want to show you now is uh, a little bit more of a complex issue. That one's fairly straightforward. Whenever you have artwork that's wider than your cut file, you simply set the tile bleed X here, which is across the horizontal, to whatever tile bleed you like to work with. And so long as you have your tile width set correctly, the program will automatically work it all out for you so that when you can send it to the vinyl spooler, it's all ready to go. It's all the right measurements, it's in the right position, and it will perfectly overlap. And that's the way we do that. But if you've got a more complicated uh, situation, I'll just cancel out of that. We'll create a new page here. Now I'll make this page a bit bigger. I'll make it, um, we'll go to uh, an imperial size here of say four foot by four foot. I'll just draw out a circle. I'll do this, I mean it's not a great example in the sense that it's not a piece of uh, general artwork, but it's a good example to show you the point I'm trying to make with this here. So I don't want to make the circle too big because I won't get the point in. That's roughly about what I want to do there. Okay, so I've got a circle roughly no, three feet by three feet, more or less. Okay, and I want to cut this out, again, onto a 24-inch wide vinyl uh, plotter or, or a cutter. Go up to send a cut file, click on that. I'll just click the resize it so it fits. There we go. And as you can see, we've got this enormous circle you want to cut out on a 24-inch wide plotter. And if I click on Tile to Media here, you can see there's Tile 1 and there's Tile 2. So... If I go to Arrange Cut File and I click on this item, we can see we've got this big circle here we want to cut out. Now a more advanced way of dealing with this, uh, this sized uh, piece of artwork is to use the chopping guides which are on, uh, that you can pull out from the rulers. So if I left click and hold down and drag out, you can see this, this guide I'm bringing out. If I just let it go roughly there, which is roughly in the centre, you can see what it's done. I've got my tile bleed set to 0.394 of an inch. I can set that to anything I like. But you can see if I zoom in here, what it's done is on the left hand side here, you've got this, you can see the blue uh, outline here which represents the circle and this uh, 0.394 overlap. If I click over here, I've got exactly the same thing. I've got my uh, alignment mark there and my original piece of artwork. It's cut it right in the center and allowed that overlap. So the program's automatically done that all for me. The great thing with that is, oh, actually I'll show you uh, just one sec. I'll just show you how to do the tile uh, bleed Y. I'll set that to say 0.5 of an inch and I'll bring that down like this and let that go and now I've got this position here and you can see that I've now got these uh, extra pieces so I can actually cut, bring that down and chop it along the, um, oh, hang on, undo that, I, I need to select the item, I can bring that down and it will chop it along there as you can see. Now the great thing with this is, is that now I've now got four separate pieces as you can see. Okay, and I can just undo that to show you how they go back together. Now, the point is here is that these have all got these alignment marks, which means I can go on site now and I don't have to measure anything because all I need to do is once I've weeded this job out, as long as I align my marks on site with each other, as you can see here, as long as I align these marks with each other, this circle will, will be a perfect circle on the job and it will be with this perfect overlap that I've set. So that's a great way of being able to deal with uh, large pieces of artwork and then you can move them off to fit within your vinyl wherever you want 
and it doesn't matter where you move them to because when you cut them and weed them they'll automatically all realign back up so I go back on site and I can put I can lay down my first piece I can come down and lay down my um, well, not quite perfect but I can lay down my second piece I can then de lay down my uh, my third piece and I can come along and lay down my fourth piece you know roughly like this and as long as I get my alignment marks in line with each other I'll end up with a perfect circle on site with a perfect overlap in each direction in this particular example and of course that applies to any artwork I've got so don't forget the uh, chopping guides these ones that you can pull out from the um, from the rulers here or from uh, from the top ruler there to create a tile X and a tile uh, uh, bleed X and a bleed Y uh, for these tile overlaps and that's uh, a great way of um, being able to align up a job on site and that's tile bleed or tile overlap and the end of this lesson